Welcome to WCAL's TikTok, your local source for what's trending on the music side of our favorite app. I am your host, DJ Kidney, and today I am joined virtually by South End. Hello. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, um, how would you guys describe yourself as a group? Like, who are you? Introduce yourselves, please. Uh, so I'm the rhythm guitarist. My name is Sebastian. Uh, you know, I grew up listening to all sorts of punk rock and stuff, and like that's kind of my whole thing. But I met Danny and everybody through school, and we had like this after school music thing, like a conservatory. And you know, we've been like friends for a long, long time. Then Danny like had this band, and he wanted new members, so I jumped on it, and it's just been a fun time ever since then. Yeah. Um, I'm Jimmy. Um, I met them obviously through school. Um, I'm the bassist. I mostly listen to metal. Um, I got started in the band. I was helping Danny record Industry, the first yeah. song, right? Yeah. I was helping him record it. And then the bassist, the former bassist, went off to college and I filled that role. Mm -hmm. And here we are, yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Jimmy and I were in the same uh, recording arts class in high school, just sort of an introductory class. And um, he was doing some of his metal stuff. So he's really into metal. And uh, yeah, I was sort of doing South End on the side. And it was just sort of Dylan and I like screwing around. Um, yeah, so we recorded those two singles first. And then the next year, senior year, we recorded the whole EP with Jimmy. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, it's nice to hear that you guys have been friends for a long time. It's nice to see that it's a close-knit thing. Um, my next group, uh, next question for you guys is, what's your music style? Like, how would you describe it to potentially new fans? I would say indie pop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely, the stuff we're coming out with soon is definitely a lot more on the indie pop side yeah. than, than the original EP. Uh -huh. No, before I'd say we're like post, post, pop, <laughs> prog rock mix of yeah but yeah. now we're just indie pop right? yeah just yeah. indie pop, indie pop so we'll make yeah. it easy <laughs> i like that um who do you guys draw inspiration from as a musical group that's a great question a um, lot of different a lot of, yeah what we love about this is that all four of us have very different um sort of like styles in music uh sorry it looks like dylan's coming in yeah welcome dylan <laughs> Hello. So, yeah, yeah. welcome to share. Yeah. Our lead singer has returned. He does. But, um, yeah, we all listen to very, very different types of music. You know, like Jimmy's a metal, I like punk, Daddy listens to like our indie rock and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Dylan loves R&B. Dylan stuff, loves R&B. So, so uh, we haven't necessarily conjoined all of those genres into one, you know, mega genre. But uh, it's nice to like, you know, get influence from all of our styles of music. Good, good. I like to hear that you all have a diverse background. That seems really rare lately in the music scene. So it's nice to see you all like come together and create a specific sound. Yeah. Okay, so next question is, what made you choose TikTok to promote your music? And how do you feel TikTok has influenced the music scene and or your careers personally? Well, that's all. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so uh, when we were working on Down Out One as a single, we were thinking of new ways to market it, basically, and obviously TikTok has exponentially grown in the amount of users that it has. I mean, it's reached over 3 billion users, so we were thinking that would be the perfect social media app to reach a new audience, as well as the ability to constantly go viral whenever you post a video just by putting like a hashtag is quite, uh, it's quite an extra benefit to have being an artist, right? Because it's so hard to do that on Instagram or YouTube or something like that. And so since TikTok has that ability to go viral, that is why we chose it. And I mean, it seems to be doing well so far, but we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, TikTok's how I found you guys actually, as you know from our communication. So, and you guys are the reason I decided to do this talk show actually, because I wanted to get to talk to artists like you and give you a chance to be heard on the radio and seen on TV. Thanks. That's awesome, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Is, I think Thank you. the best movement from TikTok is supporting these small sort of indie independent artists. So we, we love the work that you're doing and we hope you continue interviewing artists like us. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you guys. Um, 
Another question I have for you guys, since you are up and coming artists, is what's it been like promoting music during a global pandemic? That's a great question. Yeah. It's been, um, it's definitely revolved around social media because there's no actual live shows. Um, we have done one live show over TikTok slash Instagram lives, and it actually went really well. Yeah. Like, we had like a thousand different people saw yeah, it too, at yeah. some point during the show. Yeah. And then we had a hundred confirmed viewers at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we like hundred twenty. Yeah, we had yeah. like hundred twenty yeah. at one point, which, which is which bigger is than really any crazy. actual live show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we've seen how um, like live shows definitely improve our status. Um, like just from that one live show, we gained like eighty followers on Instagram, um, and a bunch of followers on TikTok. And I know TikTok followers are, TikTok, yeah, yeah it's I a think, lot more exponential. I think there are also other ways to promote it as well. Just like um, having interaction with fans alone is like a really good thing that can help take you a long way because there's not, there's no other way to interact with them via like a live show or have a meetup or something like that. And so just being able to stay active on all the social medias and talk to each and every single one of the fans is probably the most important aspect to marketing during this global pandemic. Yeah, I think it's like been helpful, like not helpful, but like, <laughs> you know, we were all off at college doing our own thing. That's true. That's yeah. true. Like, None this of this would not have happened, happened without yeah. the pandemic. And like, you have nothing better to do. Like, this that's true. true. That's like, true. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're stuck I, at home. You have nothing to do. Might as well make music. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I've worked on music like probably five times more than oh, yeah. I worked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So this pandemic was a blessing in disguise. Well, I guess. Well, it's, like, not it's, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It did well, help us. It's, it's, it's the help. reason we're here. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll just yeah. say that it's the reason we're here. Yeah. <laughs> the bad thing brought good people together, pretty much. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. We're like the Avengers. <laughs> we're basically, the Avengers. We don't, we don't want to be like facetious <laughs> about you know Corona and all the deaths that it's brought. Yeah. Yeah. But we're basically the justice. Yeah. <laughs> so another question for you guys individually is what each, what is each one of your guys' favorite songs that you guys have released together? Ooh, right, so, my big brother. Seb, so, so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go Okay, so my thing was my big brother. I didn't want to like, credit my big brother because I didn't actually write any of it. <laughs> but like when we were first recording, you know, I was the punk guy. I was in this indie band, and all the songs were like soft and great. And you know, I love all the like pop stuff and everything. But, you know, I was with Danny, and I'm like, you know, we should really have, like, a fast, not fast song, but, like, an energetic song that people can dance to and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we come to the next rehearsal, and Danny busts out with my big brother. And he's like, yeah, you know, you were right. We need a dancing song. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> so I, I don't want to say I created my big brother, but it's like I have, you know, custody on the weekends of my big brother. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's my favorite song, for sure. Yeah, um, I'd say my favorite songs either My Big Brother or Michigan. I like Michigan, Michigan a lot because we spent a lot of time on it trying to make it sound perfect. I think it, it sounds the best and I think it has a great um, feel to it in terms of the groove and the vocals and the intro. I just, I don't know, I like that one as a whole. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. I, I think I would say My Big Brother, just because it's like, I, I just feel like it definitely, um, it all comes together the best. Well, I'm going to have a throwaway answer. Time for a walk. Time for a walk. <laughs> Time for a walk is, I think, only because, one, it's the first song we ever produced. Sure and is. these two did it entirely on their own for the pro like, musical production project ever. And so in, to take those into consideration, like, how good it is for that, I think it's a good song. And plus it's also one of my, it's my personal favorite song to play live. So whenever right. I hear it on my phone, playing it through a playlist, it's always nice to get the memory of when we used to play live and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that would be my personal yeah, favorite song. To agree with Dylan, it is definitely the most fun song to play at a live show. Yeah, yes. that's a good <laughs> But not, not to disrespect My Big Brother, that's, another, that's, <laughs> a good, that's a good song too. I like it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of live shows, are you guys sad that you can't perform any live shows other than like, you know, Instagram and TikTok? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we're, really... we're hoping that we can by, you know, summertime. Well, at least. Summertime. I we mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's all that. dependent yeah. on COVID-19 <laughs> guidelines, but so there are some facilities and arenas and stadiums opening up back again, like 
uh, yeah. are having live shows. I mean, you can look at like NFL, NFL and stuff. They, oh, they're, 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 they're opening up their stadiums. I mean, as long as facilities can follow some sort of like COVID-19 guidelines in terms of social distancing and wearing masks, I mean, I think it could very well happen in the near future where we have shows with people, yeah. everyone wearing masks and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, yeah. and, and that would be exciting. I don't know. But yeah, I miss like seeing the crowds and like people dancing and stuff. Like that's always my thing. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's always yeah. fun. Yeah. Have you guys ever considered having a concert over Zoom so that you could see your fans dancing and jamming out to your songs with you? Oh, oh see, that's whoa. a good that's idea. Yeah. 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 We did. <laughs> we have not <laughs> considered that, that, but we will. Yeah, that's yeah. a yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Idea. Yeah. 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 I wonder if the same thing can happen over Discord as well. Like how many people can. So well, you've seen through video, video yeah, chat, yeah, yeah. And, and that way it's also free. I'll, you know what? That is a, a great question that, that we might have to look into. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know that a basic Zoom call can, I think, host 400 people without an account. So as long as you keep it under an hour, you'll yeah. get at least a few. Yeah. Nice. Love that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And then we could like link it in our one of our bios or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then that way it's a little bit more of a, like a personable concert, I guess. Yeah, that, well, we, we could also have like the TikTok live on a different phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. In case there's a reason to not like yeah. have our yeah. All right. So were you all on board with the idea of promoting on TikTok, or were some of you against it at first? Well, <laughs> that's <laughs> funny because Dylan sort of did that. You sort of just started yeah, doing just it. You just started, started doing, doing it, and we were all like, "Okay, this is working." So yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> none of us are super against TikTok. I mean, I don't have a TikTok just because I don't, I don't personally use it. But I'm not against the idea of using it. If it works, it works, and it's yeah. yeah. It is hard to convince them to do TikTok challenges with you, though. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, no. It is hard to get us all to do the the actual TikToks. But I have nothing against using it. Yeah. yeah. I just think my girlfriend forced me to do the ghost. <laughs> you were forced to do a TikTok? <laughs> yeah. So, right. I was doing the ghost pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but getting you, getting you guys, I'll just, I'll get you guys to dance. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. <laughs> eventually, one of these days, we'll, we'll all be in a TikTok together. But, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 I, I was definitely, like, on, not necessarily on the fence about the idea. I just didn't really, like, you know, bat an eye to it. But then I saw, like, you know, overnight we gained, like, a thousand monthly listeners. I was like, oh, yeah. damn, you know, this could actually, like, help yeah. us. And it turned out to actually be really fun. Like, I kind of enjoy using TikTok. I would say, and this isn't, like, a downside, but it's just, like, something I miss. Like, with the live shows, you get a really, like, it's nice that we have a global audience now. But with live shows, you know, you get, like, the whole San Diego community, kind of. Like, there are some local bands that... You know, just everybody mm-hmm. loves, and I kind of miss that. Like, you know, there's like a lot of San Diego music scene things yeah. I wish we had, but mm-hmm. like, you know, honestly, going global is kind of mm-hmm. nice too. Nice. I mean, I'm not complaining, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. you're right. There is like a San Diego local music community. There's just a lot of local local bands that come out of San Diego. Well, I yeah. think it's it's not so much San Diego specifically. It's just playing local shows. Yeah. is a lot more fun. Yes. At the level that we're at. Yeah. Because there's the sense of community no matter where you are. Yeah. Um, so I think it's sort of we just miss playing live shows. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I never actually asked, but where are you guys specifically from? Like, how far away are you from our little university? Very far. We are, we are, we are a couple thousand miles away. Yeah, we're in San Diego. Yeah. Well, actually, they're, they're all going to college. Uh, or well, we well, all go to college, like, yeah. at different... Places, yeah, but we're all from San Diego. Yeah, I'm actually, I was born in Vancouver. So I'm oh, not, well, I'm if not we're talking like, the birthplace, I was born in New Jersey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> born and raised San Diego. Yeah, born and raised San Diego. <laughs> so, two San Diego natives and then two travelers, I guess. Good but stuff. Don't call San Diego. Okay. Yeah, San Diego. Don't think we're watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we talked about that. Anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's what you were all about. Yeah. So um, now comes the time where you guys are free to plug any social media you would like or any promotion for your band. Oh, okay. You know, go, go on. Dylan, if I were to plug anything, I would like everyone to go to either our Instagram bio or to our TikTok bio 
And there should be a little link tree that leads you to all the other links of all of our social media. So that includes our YouTube, includes our Instagram, includes um, Discord, all of that sort of stuff. And then I might as well add that for everyone who is listening to please go stream Down Avalon. All streaming proceeds go towards the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People's Legal Defense Fund. So if you want to be able to make your own contribution, you are more than welcome to do so at NAACPLDF.org. Or you can also stream Down Avalon on Spotify, Apple Music, and every single time you stream it, about 50 or half a cent gets donated. So good thank you guys um sadly this is where we have to end it for today but i hope to talk to you guys again maybe after you guys grow a little more and you'll have some more stories to tell me about your virtual adventure yes mm -hmm. okay. but uh we, we'd like to thank you for having us thank yeah, you so much, thank you so much. Thank you. well thank you for um talking to me and i hope you all have a wonderful time and stay safe you too, yeah, you too. thank you thank, thank you, you. Bye. goodbye uh, Yeah. And here I am, making a decision between